friends, welcome to Galen IAS. This is Economy Year 2020. Here we discuss important economic concepts and current affairs. The topics today we are going to discuss are index of industrial production and index of eight core industries. So, what is an index and what is the relevance of index? Actually, indexes are specialized averages. By comparing the index numbers of different periods, the government can know the general economic trend in the economy and thereby they can decide upon trade policy, foreign policy, general economic policy, price policy, etc. The two indexes we are going to discuss are index of industrial production and index of eight core industries. These two indexes are compiled and published by the government of India. And these two indexes are on the performance of industrial production. First, index of eight core industries. Index of eight core industries measures the collective and individual performance of production in selected eight core industries. Collective and individual performance of production in selected eight core industries. Actually, these eight core industries are the backbone of our economy. All other industries in our economy is directly or indirectly connected to these eight core industries. And they... Uh, this index is uh, released by the Office of Economic Advisor under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And which are these eight core industries? These are these eight core industries. Petroleum and refinery production, electricity generation, steel production, coal industry, crude oil industry, natural gas industry, cement industry, fertilizers industry. Petroleum and refinery production is the industry with maximum weightage. 28.04 percentage is given to the petroleum and refinery production industry while calculating the total index. And electricity industry with 90.85 percentage weightage comes second. Steel industry third. Coal with 10.33 percentage fourth. Crude oil 8.98 percentage. Natural gas 6.88 percentage. Cement 5.37 percentage. Fertilizers. 2.63 percentage. Just try to buy hard the eight core industries in the increasing uh, number of weightage given to these industries. So it is very important. Next, index of industrial production. It indicates the performance of various sectors. What is the difference between index of eight core industries and the index of industrial production? Index of eight core industries just takes into consideration just eight industries. Index of eight core industries just takes eight industries. But index of industrial production takes into consideration around 407 industries. Index of industrial production takes into consideration around 407 industries. And these eight industries in the index of eight core industries are also comes under this index of industrial production. The eight core industries comes under the index of industrial production too. And the weightage given to these eight industries under IAP is around 40 percentage. Weightage given to eight core industries under IAP is around 40 percentage. That shows the importance of these eight core industries and the relevance in our economy. And it is published by Central Statistical Organization under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. IEP is compiled and published by Central Statistics Organization under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. But Index of Eight Core Industries is compiled and published by the Office of Economic Advisor under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. IEP comes under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. But Index of Eight Core Industries comes under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And it is a monthly publication and first published in 1950. And the current base year is 2011-12 and the previous one base year is 2004-05. And this uh, base years are same for the IEP and uh, index of core industries too. And it measures the rate of growth in different industry groups of the economy in a fixed period of time. And while we, uh, we classify the industry groups under the IEP, 
we can classify it on two bases on the basis of broad sectors or on the basis of use based on the basis of broad sectors and on the basis of use based on broad sectors the total force zero seven industries in the IEP classified into three mining manufacturing and electricity mining manufacturing and electricity whole four zero seven industries in the IEP comes under any of these sectors the whole industries comes under any of these sectors here the manufacturing industry has the maximum weightage is 78 percentage and 405 industries comes under manufacturing sector 405 industries comes under manufacturing sector and mining industries include just one industry with 40 per 14 percentage weightage and electricity 18 percentage weightage and total there are 407 item groups in the IEP and next classification on the basis on the basis of use base on use base the total industries can be classified under five sectors primary goods sector intermediate goods sector capital goods sector infrastructure goods sector consumer durable goods sector consumer non durable goods sector here the primary goods sector has a maximum weightage of 34 percentage and the number of industries included in this primary goods sector is 15 second comes the intermediate goods sector with 17 percentage weightage and the number of industries here 1 ton more than primary goods sector that is to be uh, taken care next capital goods sector with 67 industries and weightage 8 percentage infrastructure goods sector has 29 industries and weightage here is 12 percentage consumer durable goods has 86 industries and the weightage 13 percentage consumer non-durable has 100 goods industries and the weightage here is 16 percentage so this is the another classification and what is the significance of IEP it is the only measure on the physical volume of production which means the total product uh, total production output in the economy and it is used by government agencies including the ministry of finance rbi etc for policy making how it is useful for rbi it is useful for rbi by calculating monetary policy etc the third extremely relevant for the calculation of gdp estimates uh, so that's all for today thank you